Hi, my name is Rachel Ewens. I'm a mobile strategist and I run the app blog LadyAppApp.com. And what I want to talk about today is the fact that our iPads and our iPhones aren't just um, tools for productivity and making calls and editing documents anymore. They're also play toys for our kids a lot. So what I wanted to talk about is how we can set restrictive features on our devices to keep our kids from getting into areas they're not supposed to be. So Apple's actually built in some great restrictive features for iPad. Um, they know that parents are letting their kids use them and they want parents to feel secure. So one of the really basic ways very quickly that you can work to kind of disable unsafe areas for your child is to turn on airplane mode. It's the same thing you do when you get inside an airplane and what that's going to do is pretty much disable your internet. Um, this will work for small children, but for older children, once they get savvy to the airplane mode, they're just gonna flick it off. So what I wanted to do is get into some of the more granular restrictions that Apple has provided us. So what we're gonna do is actually go into our settings and go into general. And under general, you're going to look for a section that says restrictions. Um, so you're gonna have to type in your password. I'm gonna turn mine for a second. And opening this up gives you an array of controls that you can do. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, but turning these off will make the app disappear on your device altogether. So as you can see right now, Safari is located in the lower left-hand corner. When I go into restrictions and turn off Safari, it no longer appears on the device at all. So it completely keeps your child from getting into that trouble as long as they don't have that password. Now some of the other things that are really nice are the ability to turn off installing apps. So uh, if your child doesn't suddenly rack up a tremendous cost from buying apps, um, you can actually control whether your location is tracked and control your email accounts. So if you don't want your child to accidentally delete one of your email boxes or add any new email boxes, you can control that here. Um, you can also do some kind of uh, explicit content setting. So right here on music and podcasts, you can set the level to which you are allowing your kid to download. So if you don't want them downloading explicit music, you can set that here. Um, the same goes for apps. All apps are actually required to have an age rating on them. Um, whether you've noticed it or not, it's actually in the information of apps. So you can actually judge based on your child's age level what kind of apps you want them to download. If you want to control how much your child uses things like bandwidth, their internet level, there are things like controlling multiplayer games or their ability to add friends, so you can kind of kind of avoid uh, bullying troubles there. Um, but there's a strong array, array of restrictions that you can control. So using these restrictive features should keep your kids safe and keep their noses out of areas they shouldn't be in. Again, my name is Rachel Ewens, and this is how to apply restrictive features and airplane mode to your iPad.